All right, world. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And jazakallah khair for everybody being on time. Well, this is exactly what we wanted to do. Hit and miss. Either we hit or you don't attend, you miss it. We are recording for the sake of, inshallah, beneficial knowledge spreading across, inshallah, and hopefully more parents benefit. Especially, why did we even do this webinar? Why are we doing the series? So the first two minutes, as we said, since it's the start of a new program, this Iman Parenting Group and the Parenting Circle Group has been very fruitful. It's a success of a group to stay alive and active and vibrant and to the purpose for the last five years. I think we started somewhere uh, around pandemic and it has some amazing people, some very good educators, absolutely wonderful parents, mothers and fathers. So the idea was, why not utilize the skills of everyone around and ask everyone to come and present. And like we do, even TED Talks are three minutes. I know it's easier to speak longer. It's easier to speak for an hour, but very difficult to speak for five minutes and seven minutes in eight, our case, eight minutes. So this is why this program is kept. Inshallah, hopefully number one agenda is small nasihas, beautiful reminders. Very quickly, in 40, by 6.45, we are winding up, we are done, and you would have got your day, dose of Friday nasiha. And number two, for the amazing talent we have, you know, I just picked up some of the brothers here, some of the sisters here, all fathers and mothers, we can learn from each other. And this is what we need. So every Friday, 6.30, hopefully, we'll host one speaker for short sessions. And these will, inshallah, be a part of YouTube playlist and in other groups as well. As I quickly speak, today's speaker of the day is a very good friend. And subhanallah, you know, I'm still waiting for Nazim Bhai to come to Mumbai and meet us. But look at his LinkedIn profile, so beautiful. He said he's a poet, and I could see the poetry in the way he wrote his name. It's in Hindi, it's in it's in Chinese, perhaps. Somewhere I am missing Urdu, but he's the founder of Huge Learning. And perhaps uh, you can connect with him. A lot of other areas that Nazim Bhai is. Uh, there is an IIT uh, logo out there. He's been across places. He has traveled and met people, startups, Nokia Sapien, AI. SubhanAllah, he had attended a talk at the Global Conference in South Africa. This idea is you have a lot of knowledge compressed in one conversation. And I think this would be unjust if you don't hear the wonderful people who have come to hear you, Nazim Bhai. Today's topic is role of books in upbringing of children. Over to you and Jazakallah Khair. Yeah, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, thanks, Javed. Th thanks, Daud Bhai. You know, uh, I'm humbled by your words and I'm humbled by the journey that Allah has put me on. You know, and the journey that I have been on, you know, whatever, wherever countries and wherever countries. Nazim Bhai, we can't hear you properly. Yes, Nazim Bhai, your voice is very feeble. Can you hear me? Better. Oh, just give me a minute. Yeah. So I said that the journey that I have been through my life or through my imagination and uh, as this came up a lot of topic uh, uh, you know kind of just comes to your mind about what should you speak you know uh, and also given that we are not a parenting coach uh, it's uh, uh, it's a good uh, initiative I would say that uh, where we are looking to learn collaboratively from each other and uh, coming back so the, the the thought which kind of just struck me about what should I talk is I'm sorry to interrupt, Nazim Bhai. Your voice is very low. Yes. Oh, I don't know because I keep using Zoom, and uh, I if you're using any audio device, remove it. Speak directly in your laptop. Nazim Bhai, uh, one more suggestion. If you talk face to face, we will connect with you more. So, can you please uh, start your video? And and if you're Using a microphone, then please keep it uh, near. No, no, I'm not using a microphone. I I am talking from a MacBook, and I have been doing this all along. You know, this is the first time somebody reporting, especially on Zoom, that my audio is not clear. I am trying to figure why is it so. Is it clear now? No, no, but you are very good, mashallah, but your voice is not coming. No, no, but uh, oh, so I don't know. But this is the first time I am facing such a problem. Would you uh, want to connect your mobile phone, Nazim Bhai, and keep your uh, laptop sound mute? Yes, that I can do, possibly. Just do that. Connect the same Zoom link through your mobile phone and speak through the mobile phone. 
just give me a minute. Give me a minute. Yes, yes. All right. Uh, inshallah, we'll let the speaker just just take a minute more. And as always, we have backups. Don't worry. Uh, by the time Nazim Bai is getting into the ready part, I have a quiz for you. A simple quiz. This is one of my favorite old ones. I just found it. Uh, can you tell me what book are we connecting quickly? And this is what we've done. Oh, I'm sorry. I've, I've gone the book. Okay, so I'll come to the book and I'll ask you three questions about the book. This is a small connect. Uh, once Nazim Bai is ready, I'll get him board, on board. And don't worry. We'll just make sure we finish sooner. Ye, ye kitab can, you hear me? From Afghanistan. And, can, you, can you hear me? Oh, yes. Better, better. Okay, okay, okay. Good Let's stop my screen share. Uh, I think I think you should complete what you just want to present, you know. Please go ahead, you know. Why don't you complete? No, 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 I'm done, complete? I'm done, I'm done. Nazib Bhai, you're, you're on, on the clock. It's Go ahead. Okay. So, uh, I think uh, of the many things which came to my mind, uh, uh, I picked up uh, the instinct which has shaped my journey, both of my imagination, because I come from a design fraternity, and also uh, me, uh, the journey of mine as a person, you know? And that instinct is my instinct to read. The earliest memory I have is of reading, reading and reading, you know? uh, of not designing. You know? But I, by Alhamdulillah, by Allah's grace, I am one of the most imaginative person in my circle. And that is because of the fact that I kept reading all along, you know? Whenever I was, wherever I was, I was always reading, you know? Uh, now, if we go back, you know, uh, and, and in the age that we are in, uh, there is constant tussle between whether the screen should dominate or the book should dominate. You know? And uh, it's a dilemma as a parent, even I am in a dilemma. The book should take the precedent or the, you know, the screen should take that. Now, my own observation is the books has a very clear, clear uh, uh, deliverables or uh, empathy or a bonding that the, the, the child develops with the book, unlike a screen. Like I, I'll, and because this is not a research and not a very long period, but I was reading somewhere that in the early, and there was a research, and most of the research are done in America or Europe, you know. So one of the research done to toddlers uh, about reading from a book and reading from a screen, the toddlers were responding more to reading from the screen because obviously because there's sound, there's animation, unlike from a book. But the question which, which kind of just cropped to my mind, you know, and, and there was an analysis on this front also, is do we need a child who's a toddler for his so many senses to be activated? And if you go back, if you go back to the fact that uh, there are so many cautionary note which is given to us. Like, for example, when you get up, when somebody gets up from the bed, it is advised not to immediately get up, you know, to give it some wrench, some, you know, a few seconds before you kind of get a sense of uh, being there and then get up. And, and, and I draw a very clear parallel between this and a toddler or a young man or a young ch child being exposed to a digital medium. Now, our digital medium no, 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 no. I think there has to be a judicious mix between digital medium and the books. And some of the things which kind of just, I just kind of, which which has come across to my mind as uh, during my years about what does a book do? You know? And in this age, when we have this fleeting, you know, concentration, where every time you we, we are looking to fiddle, I think the book brings a higher degree of concentration. The ability to stay focused is not only important for your own thinking, for your own innovation, but it's also important for shaping your life vision. You know? And because of the, the, the digital format, which is evolving, which is much shorter and shorter and variety and variety, the, our concentration has started wavering. My concentration has started wavering, you know? leave alone the child. You know? So I think the books, number one, it, it kind of helps build uh, the ability to concentrate. The other thing which which kind of the books which I've seen over the years, which helps, and I'm talking about a journey right from my childhood to about my adulthood, you know, is that it helps build a thought frame. You know, I read another book and I read another book and I read another book. So each of them has uh, different thoughts. 
but as a reflect unlike unlike a digital medium uh, where we get consumed and our other senses which is which with the six senses or the senses which allow us to be more mindful about what we are reading and the topics that we it get consumed by the digital medium uh, and and book because it just consume part of your senses it allows you to reflect and be mindful of what you are reading yeah one other thing which i have kind of it obviously the obvious things like you know building your vocabulary you know uh, 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 one uh, one very other key thing which i i've learned through books is diversity of thoughts you know and diversity is it's, it's, a, it's a very large topic i have come from a very diverse background i grew up in calcutta in a area where we have chinese bengali we had you know uh, uh, bori we had uh, uh, anglo indians a lot of and i think at least uh, vocariously you know even if I, we don't experience the different culture at least reading expose you to diversity of thought you know uh, and also one other thing is it because and and i'm kind of comparing with digital and books is digital imagination digital medium present the imagination what has already been imagined to you in a specific way whereas the books allows you to fly your imagination you know? and one last thing is the empathy part you know the you know you kind of just learn to empathize you are not there but you are empathizing so i think also i think of, of, of the books uh, when i talk about books 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 Uh, one key thing is that that as as the hadith goes that the child uh, uh, cycle till about 21 years is divided into three phase one to seven and seven to fourteen and fourteen to twenty one. One other thing which I have realized is books which are tuned to this age bracket as are are best. You know, uh, let's not like films. We should not cross breed the books. We should not cross introduce the books. Like one to One to seven is the age when we should play with children. Uh, two, uh, uh, seven to fourteen is the period when we teach them, and fourteen to you know twenty-one is when we advise them. You know, also one other very key fact: there are some topics you know uh, which we as parents, not all parents, are comfortable and open enough to discuss. For example, when when a child become adolescent, you know, when a child is getting married, you're like one of the most beautiful. expression that i've got from a young colleague of mine when i presented him he was a moment i presented him a book on what is halal and haram and what is a married way of life and he was so impressed because these things about marriages and post marriage life what is haram and halal these are not really talked about but what if a parent what if a relative gift a book you know to your to a child i think these topics which are really talked by the imam by the you know parents or by the relatives and they just get pushed under the carpet the it is through books that it could be introduced be people we could be introduced into them you know one other key thing which research has proven that in a house where books book library is there book library is there just having the book library accentuate the learning quotient you know your learning quotient i am looking at the time doubt by am i through Oh, you have a couple you, of minutes. Forty-five seconds more. <laughs> okay, forty. Yeah. So, uh, in all, I would say that uh, uh, you know there is this constant tussle in our age between digital and books. Uh, but my like the hadith goes that the moderation, you know, uh, Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam always used to like moderation in everything, in laughing, in food, in eat. I think the same should be applied to between the choice between books and uh, uh, re, you know screen what with. what people are reading from screen in fact even when we are reading books you know uh, uh, we should make sure that we are reading from books at least some of the books not all from the screen one other thing which i have kind of just learned one last thing this is what i would say is that good books are rare and our kids only get exposed to books on animals or books on you know as a fables and books on uh, the older character comics there are whole lot of literature which unfortunately is going missing and gone missing is on a hadith on on the on on the persian literature on the imaginative literature which is the islamic literature and it is gone missing it is they are very rare but i would request that go and hunt for them you know gems are rare and we should hunt for them uh, one other one book which i just mentioned is the 
adventure of amir hamza i would recommend everybody to read you know to the children that's about it i'm here thank you so much jazakallah khair nazim bhai it's uh, honestly it's very generous and very large hearted of all of you you all are very famous speakers and to allow yourself to come and speak a short time but very powerful and once again you know you started with waking up and singularity and reading a book some very beautiful points about just having a library as a book corner changes so much about you know the idea uh, mashallah the adventures of amir hamza so much packed in this short time nazim bhai jazakallah khair once again i'll quickly open the floor for two mm -hmm. questions and then we end up oh there you are sister aisha qureshi has asked a question uh, can you list the best books for reading uh i'll have to put together the list i don't have like handy and the difficult question but i try and expose my children because my children is 14 and 8 i try to which which why what i have experienced gone through myself i try to experience them to all kind of books religious books non religious book comics like my my daughter i have not exposed her to poetry and she's poor in poetry you know so i can <laughs> so i would i would recommend that try and bring them to all kind of book i'll try to put together a list of book and and possibly share without by jazakallah no you can put in the group i just said we'll start a uh, thread in the group and one last question we'll keep our promises a quick short session but very powerful so i'll just wait for a couple i have got a lot of questions in my mind it's about a topic i so close to my heart so nazim bhai uh, a quick question from mine growing up what are two or three very powerful books that have you know imp created impression in your mind so growing up there were two narrative of literature i would say and uh, uh, you know uh, one was urdu literature in those days there used to be a magazine called khilana it was published by the group of shama shama book you know uh, remember you know there was a, they had a lot of urdu and they had a children magazine called khilana and also there was this whole book of uh, whole urdu literature books called talshimi shahzada puran khatola you know unfortunately these literature has gone and they have just fired my imagination so that is one set of books the other set of books are these bahadur phantom you know spider man you know batman you know all those in those days so i think what they have done to me and and i by in fact my 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 biggest strength in life is my imagination but allah allah has blessed me with that you know is that it has just unlocked my imagination anything is possible and in fact when i take design sessions i tell them that the best way to start thinking innovatively is you think you are the king of the world because there is no limit to how what you can think and then we treat it down to a business scenario saying okay ye fit hoga nahi hoga so i think it thinking these are the two business coming back to your question these are the two narrative not it is not a novel it is not a book but these are the two narrative and these are all child book in spite of the fact that i have read so many books perfect alhamdulillah i, I will just, just i will just add one thing i have a friend who uh, he is now 55 and he is a senior creative director with tcs he has been a creative director for the last 20 years you know and he is 56 57 even now when he travels by plane and for journey he carry with him with tinkle every day he will carry with a tinkle wow yeah. mashallah so no i think that's about it i know the questions i'm so tempted to take more but we'll keep ourselves to this limit jazakallah khair nazim bhai may allah bless you sister tabassum who volunteer thank you everybody to make this first event successful hopefully we'll see each other again next friday with a new topic and a new speaker jazakallah khair assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Thank you. Thank you.